This video is the must know guide about roofing in the winter. Now I know you're a little jealous because I'm somewhere where it looks really, really warm and I got a hot girl in a bikini behind me. And so I, I understand. So to make it up, I'm gonna have my friend Angie be in the video. She's gonna be just around here in the background. So I make sure you watch all of it. Okay, so on YouTube, it really matters whether you're watching the whole video or not. So it really, really helps out our channel if you guys watch the entire video. So I know I'm asking a lot, but this helps get all our great information out to other people. So to pay you back, that's why I have the beautiful Angie in the video. So she's gonna help you keep the retention time of the video up. So if you don't mind, just watch the full video. It really, really helps us out a lot. A little bit about myself. My name is Zach Flingasop. I'm a U.S. military vet veteran. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. So I promise you're getting good information. What do you think, Angie? It's really hot. <laughs> so it's really hot out here. So sorry, the video is about roofing in the winter and we're bragging about how warm it is. Let's get started. All right, so this is the summary of the video that we're gonna start off with. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is can you do roofing in cold weather? Then we're gonna move on to what are the risks of roofing in cold weather and some of the things that can happen when you're roofing in cold weather. All right, next we're gonna talk about safety risk of roofing in cold weather. And then finally, we're gonna talk about why it takes longer to do roofing in cold weather. <laughs> all right, so the question that we receive all the time is, can you do roofing in cold weather? Now that applies to both as you're a homeowner and you're getting someone to install your new roof or your roofing contractor's never really worked in the winter time before. Well, the simple answer is yes, you can roof in the cold weather. However, you need to make sure that you're properly planning, that you use oversight and you're using the proper safety precautions when roofing in cold weather or roofing in the winter. Now, again, it's totally possible, but there are some challenges to roofing in the winter. Let's go ahead and move forward with the next lesson. Okay, next we're gonna talk about some of the risks that you're gonna run into when roofing in cold weather. One of the things that you're definitely gonna run into is issues with your roofing material. Now, we're gonna start off with asphalt shingle roofs. So with asphalt shingle roofs, the shingles can be very, very brittle. So that's one of the things that you have to worry about is how brittle your shingles are. So one of the things you can do is heat them up the night before. You can have your supplier keep them indoors. That way they're a little bit warmer when they're delivered. But the point is you do not want your shingles to be getting installed with weather underneath 43 degrees Fahrenheit is what most shingle manufacturers recommend. And you wanna make sure that if, they, if it is below 43 degrees out, that the shingles have been warmed. Now, the reason that that's important is because they can break really easily and bend really easily when you're carrying them up or installing them. Another thing that's like a huge, huge important part of this is actually nailing the shingles down. If you are gonna be installing again below 43 degrees, you want to make sure that shingles are hand nailed versus about using a nail gun. You can use a nail gun, but the thing that you have to worry about is what's called a blow through. And that's where you use a nail gun to actually shoot the shingle through and it penetrates through the shingle, the nail head penetrates through the shingle. And so it doesn't actually fasten against the decking of the roof. That's a huge issue and it happens a lot. And it's one of the number one issues we see with wind damaged roofs. So keep that in mind when you're, whether you're a homeowner or a contractor and installing asphalt shingles in the winter. All right, next type of material that I wanna talk about is fiberglass shingles or roof shakes. A lot of you might know them as like wood shingles or cedar shakes. Uh, I'm gonna spend a lot more time here talking about uh, cedar shakes and wood shingles. Now, wood actually will hold some moisture. So when it gets installed on the roof, you do not want to install them when it's below freezing out because if it's below freezing, the water that's actually in those shakes and shingles are going to freeze. And so when you shoot nails through them, they're gonna break. So what's gonna happen is you are gonna have some damaged materials if you're trying to install this below freezing and it's gonna cause a quite expensive project. So just take your time, wait till it's above freezing out and don't install those when it's below freezing, please. All right, so when you're installing a lot of roofing system parts, a lot of times you use sealants and tar. Now, a lot of sealants, particularly on an asphalt shingle roof, will not actually seal. The tar needs to be above 42 degrees Fahrenheit in order for the tar to actually seal. So what a lot of roofing contractors will do is they'll actually, if they install it in, in cold weather, they'll go ahead and put a little bead of sealant down, that way your uh, shingles will actually sit down. Now the problem is if it stays cold for a long time, even extra tar won't cause those shingles to seal or your other roofing system parts. 
it needs to be a certain temperature for all that stuff to seal and it's typically again above 43 degrees so it warms up everything on your roof and everything sticks so again sealants and tar do not work well when it's cold okay so what are some of the safety risks when it's cold outside well guys if it's slick and cold up on top of a roof then it can be an issue with dealing with your employees and making sure everybody stays safe and your homeowner as well so if you're roofing in the winter make sure that you're wearing boots that have good grip make sure that everything's tied off make sure that you're just taking the proper precautions to keep everyone safe on the job site because anytime that you're adding ice and wind and, and wet it's just a combination for someone to fall off the roof so you want to absolutely make sure everyone's tied off using proper fall protection and again make sure everyone's wearing the right shoes when they're on top of their roof and we we're getting rained on in the middle of our video this is what it's like running a youtube channel and trying to shoot outside so we're going to finish this project and this video inside this is the beauty about doing a youtube channel and videos is you can never control the weather and things always come up so last thing we're going to talk about is longer project completion kind of when it starts raining on you when you're in the middle of shooting a video so because you're roofing in the winter everything's going to take a little bit longer the guys can't work as long during the day because well it gets dark a lot sooner and so the days are shorter and let's face it when it's 35 degrees out the last thing you really want to be doing is going back up on a roof and carrying shingles up there Oh, there's a saying in showbiz that the show must go on. So Angie and I have moved into the gazebo to finish the rest of the video because I do not let rain stop my ability to show you guys good roofing content. So the next is what are the benefits of replacing a roof in the winter? Well, one of the benefits is more quality control. So like I told you, it's very hard for the tar to seal in the winter because normally we use natural heat to warm up the shingles and it seals everything. So when you install a, particularly an asphalt shingle roof in the winter time, everyone has to go around and hand seal the shingles. So when it does heat up, they're still gonna, they're gonna seal. So you're basically getting a double layer of protection to make sure that your shingles are all the way down. So again, they're gonna hand seal with some kind of sealant, even though it doesn't work great in the winter time, it's gonna warm up and you're gonna have double sealant. So in the long run, as long as you don't have the shingles blow off in the winter time, you're gonna be left with a really, really good roofing system. Next is easier scheduling. Typically, roofing companies are a lot slower in the winter time, so it's gonna be easier to schedule your roof. The last thing is installing metal roofs in the winter is not a problem. So a lot of times in the winter time, if you wanna install a metal roof, A, you're gonna be able to find a contractor that'll do it versus being two, three, four months out. So you'll be able to get it done quicker. And typically there's gonna be more readily available materials for metal, particularly in the winter time. Okay, so again, I know you guys hate roofing in the winter and if you're a homeowner out there, Trust me, it's really hard work for these guys to be working out in the winter time. It's just cold, it sucks sometimes, it's wet, but if you are a homeowner and want to install a roof in the winter, it's not a bad idea as long as you've got a contractor that is following the rules and doing what they're supposed to do and doing the things that I've recommended in this video. And a lot of times you can end up getting a great contractor and get it done really quickly. Guys, if you really enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel a lot. If you haven't subscribed to Digital Roofing Innovations, here's your official invitation. We have a lot of great content and we got beautiful girls like Angie in a lot of our videos. So again, hit that little red button below to subscribe. And in Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values. Bye.